We heard them last night against Columbia. Run. Cross works a walk, a one out walk for the Hokies. Schobel in the air, deep left, and see you later. Tanner Schobel goes yard for a two run home run to give the Hokies an early lead here at English Field. The fans are on their feet. Get the party started. A little hanging, breaking ball. Home run number 18. Look at Schobel. I like that though. Big swing, knows it's gone. Puts his head down. He's got to wait for his buddy. He's like, Gavin, you know that ball's way out of here. Let's Gavin Cross wanted to give him a little high five. Squaring around, trying to bunt for a hit. Jack Hurley. Jack Hurley, who went yard yesterday that we'll see with a lot of their players of development from year to year, but also once they get the guys in the program. Obviously, these types of things don't take into part a lot of defense, but he is unbelievable back there. Making the easy play, Anton Lazic steps on third. Demartini's patience pays off, works a one-out walk. McBittison. Ropes that ball into right center. It gets down. Coming around third is Demartini. He'll score. Bittison with the wheel sliding and safely to third. An RBI triple after last night's in the park home run. The dude's got wheels. This is a beautiful piece of hitting. Breaking ball down. Look at him just stay on that breaking ball as long as he can and absolutely crushes it out there. I love the effort by Solomon, but once you know he, he misses that, Nick Bittison, tons of wheels, 21 stolen bases, and he knows how fast. Look at that, third triple of the year. Just checking it out. We saw the inside the park home run last night on, with his wheels. It, especially with two strikes. That ball misses down. Two on, one down. And heading down to second for a delayed steal cross coming home. And Bittison's out at home. That fan wants the replay. Check this out again, Lance. 2-4-2 two, two put out. Watch the pickup right there by Weston Eberle. That was a tough short one hop with the catcher's mid. Got a little snow cone, see some white in the ball. You're talking two of the best base runners, not only in the ACC, but the country right there. How does that ball stay in there? And Tanner Schobel chops that ball. Anton Lazitz makes the play. So the Lions get out of the inning. They're down by three. They'll get a chance to scratch a few back. And he walks. One who needs some runners on. We talked about in the open. He lifts that ball in the air to deep center, going back, cross at the wall. It bounces off. Blake is going to come around to score. Heading for third is McGregor. A two-out RBI triple for Tyler McGregor. This all starts with a two-out walk. You extend the inning, and then all of a sudden you bring up three-hole. Mr. McGregor drives that ball. Full extension off the bat. Gavin Cross gets lucky. Stops it with a, with a kick save, it seems like. The ball gets away from it any, any more. You never know. Might have had any park home run for Mr. McGregor. Eberly lifts that ball into the air center field. Gavin Cross makes the catch, but not before the Lions get on the board. McGregor. He laces that ball through the right side for a leadoff single.
Right back up the middle on the ground past a diving Blake. Jones is aboard. Sledgehammer and Hokies. That ball gets away from Eberly. The runners advance to second and third. Ball misses outside, so that walk loads the bases. And he gets the strikeout of Hardigan. Two down for the Lions. And gets Demartini swinging at the same pitch. Bases loaded. No one comes home to score. Sage and May does his job. And a free pass for Jones. And on the hands, but that gets through. Past Mowry heading for third is Jones. A jam shot and a two out single to extend the inning. Goes down and gets that one, lifts it into deep right field at the track and gone. You can say goodbye to that baseball. Carson Demartini hits his 14th long one of the season, a three run home run with two outs to give Tech a 6-1 lead. Hammer that. Hammer that he did. That ball, look at that down and in. Beautiful left-handed swing. That's right where most lefties wanted the fastball down and in. Little bat flip. He knew it was gone. A little hokey royalty right there. Frank Beamer, he's enjoying himself. Show us that whiteboard. What do we got? Bittison bashes this one. Back to back jacks for the Hokies. The sledgehammer getting a lot of work in tonight. Seven homers, make that eight homers. Nick Bittison, this is the way he wants to do it. He said, I, that, that one last night, I had to run hard. 15.5 seconds around the base pass. I'd rather hit one like this and job. A pitch misses, a leadoff walk for the Lions. I really worked a big walk. His last at bat, chops that one. It'll get through the right side. Blake advances over to second. He'll stay put there. But a nice piece of hitting by Weston Eberly, not trying to do too much. And on the ground, Bittison over to second and couldn't get the double play. They get Eberly at second base. Chopped on the ground. Demartini across the diamond, not in time. Blake comes home to score. Columbia chipping away. Down by five. Nice piece of pitching, but sometimes bad luck on your side. Great effort right here by Carson Demartini. We move along to the bottom of the eighth. Chopped on the ground, Mowry fields it cleanly, and the Lions are out of the inning. Sean Higgins has come in and stopped Virginia Tech's offense. All smiles and hugs from his teammates. If Virginia Tech wins, they will host their very first ever Super Regional in program history. Ground ball to who else? Bittison!
Columbia Lions, incredible performance in the Blacksburg Regional, but that smile on Coach Chef's face says it all, the hugs.